Hello, this is Dave and in this video, I will be trying out Heat and Bond Iron-On Adhesive from Thermoweb. This product is a heat-activated adhesive that can be used to bond fabric pieces together without sewing. According to the packaging, this is a permanent bond. It works like a fabric glue, but without the mess. You just need to have a flat iron to make it work. To put it simply, consider it a double-sided tape for fabrics. There are several variants of heat and bond. The one I have here is the Ultra Hold variant. There is also Soft Stretch Ultra for stretchable fabrics. Heat and bond also comes in sheet form for bigger appliques. Before I use heat and bond though, I have to know more about it first. Now let me open the pack. Before opening the packaging, I expected it to be like a double-sided tape. However, I was wrong. It actually becomes sticky only if you place it near heat. Basically, here's how it works. First, place a strip of heat and bond on top of a fabric piece and apply heat directly on top of the paper strip for a few seconds until the adhesive sticks to the fabric. Wait for the strip to cool down. Once it's cool, remove the paper backing. Finally, place the other fabric piece on top of the paperless strip. Then, apply heat on both sides until the adhesive sticks them together nicely. For best results, make sure that the fabric is washed without fabric softeners and iron first. Fabrics with heat and bond should be washed carefully. Since this is heat activated, you can't wash the fabric in high temperature and you can't iron over the bonded parts repeatedly. Dry cleaning is also not an option. Here are some other things I found out about this product. You can actually cut the fabric applied with heat and bond using a sharp craft knife or pair of scissors, and the edge of the fabric won't fray easily. The bond made by using heat and bond is somehow durable. However, I can separate the bonded pieces by force. When the tape is bonded to a fabric piece, the part with the adhesive might have a slightly darker color. When using the Ultra Hold variant, stitching over the bonded pieces is not advisable. All in all, heat and bond is good enough to bond fabric pieces together without using fabric glue or stitching. You can do things like Repairing holes in clothes, making hems, and adding appliques on top of fabrics. However, extra care should be done in maintaining the adhesive in the fabric. Anyway, that's it. I hope this video helped you understand how heat and bond works and decide whether or not to buy it. If you have any questions, feel free to type them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Now before you leave, don't forget to like the video, share it if you want, and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Thanks, goodbye, and stay crafty.